everyone, my name's Maggie and I work with children and young people at Bradford Cathedral. Normally, at this time of year, I would be welcoming hundreds of you to our Year 6 Lever celebrations, but unfortunately it's not possible for us to do those this year, so we thought we'd make a video instead. We've decided to take as our theme Transformation, because this has been such a year of change for everybody, and for you it's going to be a really big change again. You'll notice that I'm not in the cathedral, and I haven't been in the cathedral since March the 23rd, which is a really long time. You'll notice in a minute that Canon Mandy is in the cathedral, but she's only been able to go in there the last couple of weeks to do little things in there. So we've been having a really big time of change. You guys have also been having lots of change in your lives, and you're about to have another one. So we've made our theme transformation. We're thinking about the little humble little caterpillars that blossom into these amazing butterflies and we're thinking about all the things that you are going to do in the world to make this world a more beautiful place as you grow up. So we've got the butterfly as our symbol today and you'll notice that um, there are lots of butterflies in the video. Some of the schools have made uh, decorated beautiful butterflies and written on them uh, hopes and dreams and prayers for the future and you'll be able to see some of those later on in the video. So we would like you to enjoy the video, to know that we are thinking of you at this very special time. We want you to think about all the things that you've done in primary school. And we want you to think about what you would like to do as you grow up. Some of you will be really excited about moving on to secondary school. Some of you might be really nervous and worried. And all of those feelings are really, really important. And we're going to think about all of those things today. So please join in with the singing and the actions and the prayers and the responses if you feel able to do so and um, please know that we're thinking of you and we are celebrating everything that you are and everything that you're going to be today and enjoy the video and good luck in secondary school. God of all life, you are at our very beginning have walked with us ever since, and you know us and love us. We praise and thank you, God. God of all love, you are with us now as we celebrate together and give thanks for all that you have given us. We praise and thank you, God. God of all light, we give to you our hopes and dreams, our fears and our future knowing you will be with us forever. We praise and thank you, God. Hello, let me add my warm welcome to you all, along with my colleague. I'm so delighted that you have decided to join us for this online service here at Bradford Cathedral. What a strange year this has been. Normally we would be meeting together here in this wonderful place. But wherever you are, whether you're at home or you're at school, you are most welcome. Now today's service is about change and transformation. And we're going to be following the theme of butterflies. I have a picture here. It's not a butterfly, but it's a moth, but they have a very similar life cycle. So it's about change and transformation. So join with us now as we continue to explore this theme together.
the tropical islands all around the world. People are moving with their hands in God's hand all around the world. Facing down injustice and taking a stand all around the world, all around the world. And we'll try to get it right this time though we haven't done too well so far we'll find shelter for the homeless feed the hungry because we're all god's children wherever we are all god's children wherever we are all around the world from the icy mountains to the tropical islands all around the world People are moving with their hands in God's hand All around the world Facing down injustice and taking a stand All around the world, all around the world And we'll try to get it right this time Though we haven't done too well so far We'll find shelter for the homeless Feed the hungry, cause we're all God's children wherever we are. All God's children wherever we are. All around the world, from the icy mountains to the tropical islands. All around the world, people are moving with their hand in God's hand. All around the world. Facing down injustice and taking a stand All around the world, all around the world Lord God, you are always with us You are with us in the day and in the night you are with us when we are happy and when we are sad. You are with us when we are healthy and when we are ill. You are with us when we are peaceful and when we are worried. We remember any year six pupils who are feeling anxious because they are moving on to a new school. Help them to remember that you love them and are with them in everything they do. Amen. God of love and hope, you made the world and care for all creation, but the world feels strange right now with everything that is happening with coronavirus. Some people are worried about getting ill. Some people have family members who have been ill or who have died. Be with them and help them to find peace. We pray for the doctors, nurses, scientists, and all those who help, who work in helping those who are ill. Help us to put our trust in you and keep us safe. Amen. Lord God, we thank you for our families and those who have looked after us. Care for us as your children and help us not to worry about the changes ahead of us. By remembering that you are always with us, help us as we grow up to be strong global citizens. Thinking always how our small actions can make the world a better place. Amen. We pray for our schools and all those who work in them. Thank you God for all the teachers, teaching assistants, cooks, midday supervisors and cleaners that keep our schools a healthy and happy place to learn and grow in. And we pray the prayer that Jesus gave us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So I tell you, don't worry about the food you need to live, and don't worry about the clothes you need for your body. Life is more important than food, 
and the body is more important than clothes. Look at the birds in the air. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, but your heavenly Father feeds the birds, and you know that you are worth much more than the birds. You cannot add any time to your life by worrying about it. And why do you worry about clothes? Look at the flowers in the field. See how they grow. They don't work or make clothes for themselves. But I tell you that even Solomon, with his riches, was not dressed as beautifully as one of these flowers. God clothes the grass in the field like that. The grass is living today, but tomorrow it is thrown into the fire to be burned. So you can be even more sure that God will clothe you. Don't have so little faith. Don't worry and say, what will we eat? Or what will we drink? Or what will we wear? All the people who don't know God keep trying to get these things. And your Father in heaven knows that you need them. The thing you should want most is God's kingdom and doing what God wants. Then all these other things you need will be given to you. So don't worry about tomorrow. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Tomorrow will have its own worries. I have a picture painted by my husband's cousin. She was called Helen. She painted this picture 35 years ago. It's of a moth. It's called a lime hawk moth. And Helen and husband Bill cared a lot about moths and butterflies. So much so, they specialised in breeding them. Their little garden in London was planted with caterpillars' favourite plants. That way, they made sure they had the best beginning. And some of Helen and Bill's moths and butterflies went to the world-famous Kew Gardens in London and every year delighted thousands and thousands of visitors. The life of a butterfly and a moth is an interesting one. They start as an egg, then hatch into a caterpillar that spends its whole time eating as much food as it can. And then it makes a cocoon and hides away from the world. And once inside the cocoon, well, something amazing happens. The caterpillar is transformed into a butterfly. Not just any butterfly, but a beautiful butterfly, or even a moth, and some moths are amazing. No longer are they restricted to just crawling from leaf to leaf and eating. Now they can fly, and their wings can take them to any plant or flower they choose, any garden. They can even fly several miles. The world becomes their oyster and they can go wherever they like. It's a great world. And the other thing that the butterfly does, they're not just good for plants as they carry the, the pollen around, but whoever's garden they visit brings joy to the people who see it. Butterflies make our world a more beautiful place. And changing schools at the end of year six is a little bit like the life of a butterfly. For the last few years, you have been learning with your friends and your amazing teachers. It's been a really special time, but now it is time to change and go somewhere new. Just like the caterpillars emerging from the cocoon, your world is going to become bigger. You are going to experience new opportunities. You're going to learn new things. You're going to encounter new people and new teachers. And you're going to begin to have new hopes and new dreams that will take you to faraway places. It's going to be amazing. But like the little caterpillar, as they crawl into the cocoon, they don't know that until they come out the other side. When you get to secondary school, it will feel a bit scary, but it won't be long before you begin to open your wings and fly high. And just like the butterfly, each one of you is going to make the world a better and more beautiful place. 
but the choice will be yours. You will choose. The choices you make will affect how beautiful our world becomes. It's going to be exciting. You're going on a lifelong adventure. But I do encourage you that when you start your new school, that you will make the most of loving the opportunity to learn as much as you can. Love your friends, love your teachers, love your families, and allow your wings to open wide as you embrace all the new possibilities and in your own individual, unique, remarkable and amazing way, make our world more beautiful and more interesting. Now, John is going to lead us in a song. We say together the Leavers Prayer. Ever living God, you love all your creation and everyone in it. As we stand in a new place, please help us to look back with thankfulness for your care and help, to look forward eagerly to all that is to come, to go out to bless the world, confident that you are with us, always and forever. Amen. May God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the source of all goodness and growth, pour his blessing upon all things created and upon you, his beloved children, that you may use his gifts to his glory and the welfare of all peoples and the blessing of God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, he made the glowing colours, he made the tiny wings. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. The purple-headed mountain, the river running by, the sunset and the morning that 
bright and up the sky. Old things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. Old things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. The cold wind in the wind, the pleasant summer sun, the ripe fruits in the garden, he made them every one. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. He gave us eyes to see them, and lips that we might turn. How great is God Almighty, who has made all things well. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. All things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. As we think of all that has been in the past, we remember that God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. As we think of all that is today, we remember that God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. As we leave this place and step into our future, we remember that God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. Thank you for joining us today and making our Bradford Cathedral Lever service so special. Have a wonderful summer. Mm -hmm.